Hello, fairy friends. I am back with a box opening. Okay, I'm so excited. If you hear some snorfling, that is my little Yorkie fluffing up her bedding in her little bed. And she, it's a big production. Anyway, these are some dolls that I, um, I was going to say I got them at a live auction, but I actually got them, um, not during the auction, but, um, a preview pictures of the auction on Facebook. And then also I inquired about a couple of the dolls. So there's four all together. Two I purchased before the auction because there was um, some preview pictures of the dolls um, that uh, would be available. And um, then uh, after the first night of the auction, they did a walkthrough and I was very um, tech savvy and I did a screenshot on my phone during the walkthrough and I uh, marked up the picture um, with a little circle so that I could ask if a couple of the dolls um, that I saw really quickly in the walkthrough were available and lo and behold two of those were red were available so I have no clue which one is which actually I can feel this one so I know this one I want to save because I I'm pretty sure I know what that one is this is uh, like a baby seat or a baby I don't know really what it's supposed to be maybe for display purposes this one goes to a per uh let me move this box out of the way there we go uh this uh goes to a doll a porcelain doll and maybe this is what came with it yes yeah. this one is a very big one and that is the one that I, these two right here are the ones that I did the screenshot of that I saw their cute little cheeks <laughs> in the walkthrough. And wait a second, is it? Well, you know what? I'm going to stop trying to guess what is what. I'm pretty sure I know what's this one. This one, I'm not sure. It's awful big, but I can't really say by the size because it could just be that because it's porcelain. Nope, I just heard a, a music sound. This one is the porcelain. Okay, yes, this is the one that I thought it was, and it goes with this little seat. And, oh, uh, it's so cute. Oh, and it's musical. It's from 1991, and it's Lennox. Let me read this. If it has a name. This doesn't have a name on it. Um, it just is a, a certificate of authenticity. And they did pack these very well. But the person I purchased this off... Uh, they, uh, her name is Angela, and I'll put a link to the page, the Facebook page, um, that she has, and she announces live auctions, um, pretty frequently, and then she's also, um, in touch with other people who do the Facebook live auctions, so, uh, let's take this teddy bear off, it's, uh, on there with a the little ribbon that way we can see him he is too cute and the cutest little hair to tossel and he's so cute I don't have a lot of little boys now on to this one which I believe is the other porcelain doll oh there's a little thank you card I'm going to open that up right now before I Yes, I can't open an envelope. I'm bad. Oh, just my envelope or my receipt. 
And it says, thank you, love always, Angel. And then her business card, which that's good, because then I can show it. Okay, now on to this one. And she did get, she got the works. She got a hairnet, bubble wrap, paper towel. Oh, look at her. Oh, and I got this because, and I'll have to do a follow-up video, but I have a picture, a school picture. It's a tiny black and white picture. Actually, hold on. I'll get it. I have a five by seven of it, but I have the original as well. And I have it on my bulletin board. For some reason, this little face reminded me of my stepmom and kind of the outfit I mean kind of looks like that same time era anyways this just put me in the mind of her and I think if I even just maybe style her hair a little bit it could even look even more like her but anyways that just put me in the mind of her so I don't normally get a lot of the porcelains. Now, I, I don't want to uh, say that and make myself out to be a liar because if I see a porcelain doll that has character or reminds me of someone, then I will get, I will get it. And this one just, maybe to everyone else wouldn't have character, but to me, it just reminded me of my stepmom. So, I love her. And, oh, I didn't even show her shoes. And she's tall. She's a little bit taller than they gave me the measurement, so I mean it's my fault if I don't know how to picture that in my head, but she is larger. Oh look at her little school shoes, her little dress shoes. See, she looks like she's dressed for picture day. And this little for some reason her little dolly just reminded me of that little um, Santa pin. Anyway, I'll put that back there. And now, on to the last two. And these are the ones that I took the screenshots of. And these are TLC dolls. These, oops, I hit the, hit the light. My interrogation light. Where were you? On the night of July 11th, 1978. These are TLC dolls, for sure. When you see them, you will understand what I'm saying. Already you can see that it looks like some type of makeup was spilled on the body. And here is the tag. Doesn't say any type of a maker on it just the materials the feet are in great shape the hands are in great shape no chewed or missing fingers and let's see the back ideal toy corporation tt21 and if you haven't guessed by her hands yet, <laughs> look at the face. And she, her eyes are still, the eye paint is still very clear. She has some marring here and dirt. She has dirt in her nose crevices and everything. Her hair. Uh, it's it's dirty and matted down. It has some, you know, particulate, some type of matter in it. But, hey, all in all, this is a cute little baby. And, oh, I hear it, but her crier's broke. So, we will, some at some point down the line, after we get her fixed up, take her um, crier out. <clears throat> see what we can do. Uh-oh. Well, 
people in a china shop and it's my own china shop so what can you do with, what can you do with me all right lady stay right there don't knock over everything all right clear away some of this and the last one of the TLC dolls and this one will need some work too and this is the other one that I took a little screenshot of as they videoed through their uh, warehouse. This looks like a little bit grubbier, just a little bit on, on the limbs. But she's got all of her toes. And her hands are in good shape. She doesn't have chewed up fingers. I don't know. People who own cats know that sometimes, um, you know, the thing people usually watch out for is puppies and little doggies. But you know what? Cats can take little nibbles too from time to time. And it's missing. It's little mechanism to turn and this is also ideal it's t t one nine i believe and take a peek there and there is a little bit of some kind of chalky clouding in the eyes there are missing hair plugs around the hairline and in the back, but her stuffing is pretty full and she's a very good size. Um, she's not as bad as what I thought she would be as far as her skin, her vinyl. And I knew that she uh, didn't uh, work anymore, or at least doesn't have her um, knob to turn her. But that can be opened up and that can be investigated as well. So I am actually very, very, very happy with both of my porcelain dolls. And I can't wait to find him a cute little outfit. I actually um, have some little uh, crocheted sweaters waiting for you, little dude. And put her right there and add it. Oh, I'm at 16 minutes. I'll have to do a video of my Christmas, my two dolls my husband got me for Christmas. That'll have to be a separate video. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that box opening. And I will do a who's in the bathtub video on these two cuties right here and go over um getting them all nice and fixed up anyway thank you guys so much for watching bye bye